Good day everyone. Recently people said that they heard uh, loud noises in Cape Town and uh, something that sounded like a rumble and people said on Twitter they think there could have been an earthquake or an explosion or various other things and it was later confirmed that a small earthquake occurred about 1.3, 1.4 on the Richter scale and uh, many people would typically not feel something like that uh, the big concern is where this actually took place and it looks like it's originating on the Milneton Fault something that many many people aren't aware of uh, the Kubrick nuclear power station is built on uh, seismic bearings to withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake because it is in line uh, with the Milneton Fault and Here's the interesting kicker, and I'm going to give you a link in the description below this video uh, to that article as well as to a written piece on the history of earthquakes in Cape Town. And this is hidden by the city of Cape Town. They're not openly speaking about this. Because in 1600, uh, or around the 1600s, uh, we had a large earthquake, well recorded and documented within Cape Town. Then again, uh, later 200 years later in 1800 1809 1811 again this is a 200 year period which means that we are again due now for an earthquake of magnitude 6 or 6.5 which is what the estimate the earthquakes were then and back then fissures opened uh, liquefaction took place um, clay and mud came out of the ground in many places uh, and formed these these potholes these are things that took place then and obviously the Cape Town Metro wasn't built up the way it is now and it certainly wasn't built for earthquakes and we live in an earthquake zone every 200 years big earthquakes uh, actually happen in this area uh, we can also prove it uh, when the Kubrick excavations were done with regards to tsunamis that have taken place um, throughout the history of that area by finding um, actual seashells etc inland which could have only been carried there by large tsunamis so when people tell you there is no such thing as earthquakes in Cape Town you might think of the Tolbach quake of uh, uh, the 1960s there's a history in 1800 and the 1600s of massive earthquakes in Cape Town and we are due for those quakes now again. Um, certainly, if there's a 200 year interval, uh, they could happen at any time. And this earthquake that happened now came from that area a while back. We had two small earthquakes also in the Cape Town area, also with bangs that people heard. A quick double bang if you read the description of the historic events. It's coming from that fault or from faults in this area. And people need to be honest about this and you need to be prepared for something like that if you live within the Cape Town Metro uh, all the way from Kubrick Nuclear Power Station out to sea coming across the peninsula and through the Cape Flats through uh, uh, False Bay all the way out to Royals is where this fault stretches and you know think about that uh, be prepared for everything I always say and when people try and be quiet about something or playing it down, uh, maybe the DA should start thinking of telling people that the area that they uh, say they're in charge of, that they manage so well, uh, that all the buildings in Cape Town can withstand a 6 or a 6.5 earthquake. Thank you so much.